Warm and sunny conditions greeted semi-finals day at the Monte Carlo Rolex Masters as a 10,000-strong crowd packed Court Central. One man in attendance was tennis legend Bjorn Borg. The former champion was a special guest at the country club and was looking forward to seeing Novak Djokovic in action. With the top players playing against each other, it's, it's a special thing, but... Uh, Djokovic, it's uh, you know it, it's nice, it, it's great to see him. You know how physically strong he is. Not not not, not only physically but mentally. Uh, and uh, you know I think he's going to have another great year this year. In the first of the two semi-finals, Novak Djokovic faced the informed Thomas Burdick from the Czech Republic. The number six seed has only one win over the Serb from their nine career meetings. In the opening set, a swirling breeze seemed to upset the rhythm of both players. But in the ninth game, Burdick, matching his opponent's ground strokes, seized a break opportunity. Great play. And it's the backhand this time that does the damage. Yeah, it's important to have a, a few subtleties in your game, not just the power. The world number seven took the first set. But early in the second, Djokovic had his chance to swing the momentum back in his favour. Brilliant from Djokovic, who's right back in this. Still fighting, despite the demons. Two love. With Burdick struggling with his serve, Djokovic seized his opportunities and soon held a convincing lead. Huge backhand, one of his best of the match. And after two hours and 42 minutes, the top seed reached match point. That'll do it. The world number one has come through on one of the most difficult days of the year, conditions-wise. Very, very tricky out there. He's taken out Thomas Burdick, 4-6, 6-3, 6-2. It's really difficult to, to try to keep the ball in the court and uh, you really could not predict where the ball will, will, you know, will, will come from and the wind was changing directions uh, very fast. So, uh, yeah, strange conditions for both of us. It was just a matter of who's going to have be a little bit more lucky in the end and uh, trying to keep another ball more from your opponent in the court and I was that player in the end. Rafael Nadal had never met his semi-final opponent Gilles Simon on a clay court before. The reigning champion hasn't lost a clay court semi-final since 2003 and was by far the favourite. In a close first set, Nadal broke in the eighth game to lead 4-3 and served to take the opener. Ooh, didn't quite dip in time. And that is the seventh straight set of the week for the seven-time champion. With the advantage of an early break, the world number two began to dominate the rallies, defending break points and maintaining his advantage. Such a high level of tennis. Footwork, the movement, and the racket hand scales as well. He's done it, and did we expect anything less at the start of the week from Rafael Nadal? He remains on course for an incredible eighth title in a row at the Monte Carlo Country Club. To win against Novak, you, you have to play almost perfect. No? So uh, I will try my best. I know it's a, it's a, it's a difficult match, but uh, I really don't have much to lose. No? I lost a lot of finals against him. Uh, he's the favourite. He, he's the man to beat today. And um, I will try my best to keep improving my level to, to have a chance against him. Uh, I will try. Seven years of competitive rivalry has delivered some unforgettable matches and emotional moments. Can the world number one steal Nadal's crown and end his unbeaten run? Don't miss the best in the world live on TennisTV.com.